，右下是独立。The same principle applies as when we were doing the warm-ups. It is important as in instructors. We need to show the gracefulness, even though we can't go too low. It's better to go stand high and look graceful than going low and look really struggling. Okay, so it is important not to do that. But let me show you the movement because it is slightly different to the 24 step. Okay, from here. Now we gently swing the arms like this, sideways, and using the hip to bring the arms across the waist. And at the same time, turn on your toes to this side. Now this one here, we gently bring the left hand into hook, shift weight, right hand follows it to the side like this. And then we're going to step back slightly so that we can creep down. Okay, because the step is here, you can't creep down as more comfortable as you can be. So what we do is we adjust the step backwards, if you want, slightly higher, further, and then bring the hands down along the waist, along the ribs, then turn your waist and turn your palms and strike forward. Okay, I'm going to do it on this side. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. One, two, three. Okay, one, two, three, once more, yeah? One, this hand is like sort of facing diagonally together, downwards, and then the left hand, two, shift weight, hooks, two, adjust, then three, sink, hands along the ribs, Turn and strike. Okay. What happens if you can't go that low? Don't worry. What you need to do is this. One. Two. Down, turn, three. Left forward here, out, three. And look diagonally downward, three. Okay, so it makes it look a little bit more graceful. Now, some people, especially, especially learners, they do this because they can't squat down but they still want to feel or make it look like they are going very low. So what do they do? One, two, three. No good. We want to be able to turn. Three, 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 three. Okay, waist, hip slightly waist more okay this hand should be level no good okay reach out okay let me show you the hands again from here one waist one two it's like a little curve two three Three, hips, waist, hands. Okay. Right, now this is a creep down, which means that you are squatting as what I did. That means your weight has not moved forward when you finish off like this. 
Okay, so some people do this. One, two, no good. Two, this is creep down. Okay, or two. Okay, yeah, let's try it. <laughs> Waist, one, turn on your toes, two, adjust, three, hand down, turn waist, reach out. Don't forget your waist and the hip, oh good, no, eh. sit on it, turn your hips and waist, like this, no good. You feel the difference. Actually sit on your hip rather than this, locking this. Turn. That's it, yeah. Okay. One. Two. Three. Hips. Ways. Look diagonally down. At this moment, how low is not important. It's how comfortable you can feel and how graceful you can demonstrate. Okay? So do as little as possible as long as you can feel the gracefulness. Even like this. It's the gracefulness. No good. One, two, it's like a circle, two, then carry on this circle. So the hand, can you see, that swing, but the hook stops, stops, but the hand doesn't, see, okay, but make sure, yes, okay, let's try again, ready? One, two, three. Good. Okay, once more. One, two, three. No good. No, still try to be reasonably upright. But leaning forward slightly is to help you balance, not because you need to. So it is important, don't. It, you, I want you to sit on your bottom, not lifting it, sit on it. The reason why you can lean more when you squat low is because you have to in order to keep the balance. So when we go down, we can lean slightly more because we st squat low. Yeah? But not when you're this. Then it's no good. It's this. Good. Okay? It is here. Hip. Not the body. Hip. You have to be at least 5 to 10 foot away. Yeah, no good to look down, because once you look down, your head dips. See? So you want to be able to do it like this. That corner of the wall. Not this, not there. Nope, you keep my head. This. Okay, same thing. Corner, not down there, corner. Okay, that corner there, not there, there. Okay, yeah, right. Two things, it's very often people feel afterwards the shoulders hurt. <laughs> I don't know if you have that feeling. It's normally because, especially learners, 
because they open the shoulders too much. They lock the so shoulders too much. The same problem with repulsed monkey. People tend to say because you're moving backwards, so your arms has to go all the way back. No, you don't. Okay, so from here, this is straight line, 90 plus maximum 45. That's all you need. You don't need to go this. Okay, repulse the monkey. One, 90 plus 45. That doesn't make 180. But because we were doing on the sideways, it looks like we're going very, very far back. In fact, it's not even 180 degrees. So that's your aim. When you remove your hands, make sure it's the corner as you turn, not behind the corner. And then step back, straight. Corner, push. So in a way, when you look back, you find the corner too, okay? This one, slightly bigger, but still the same principle, no more than 180 degrees. That means one, Two, 45, maximum 60. Push, or push, 45, maximum 60, no good. Ah, absolutely, same, more or less the same direction as your knee. Maybe a bit more, but not behind. Okay, so it is more or less, I only is correct. Very good point too. More or less the same direction as you need, as you push. More or less. You can bit a bit more, but shouldn't be more any anything more than that a few degrees. Okay, like this. Okay. Now the other thing is, if you go high, you still need to open your hip, but turn it slightly inwards. Okay, no good. Bend this, bend. Uh, fold this. Okay, let's try again. When you do the strike, make sure it's striking forward. Forward, not sideways or there. It's, it's a head, side that way. Okay, strike. Forward, good, with the hook. Okay, now the hand is... When you reach out, it should not rise up because you are striking somewhere. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so that is a very tall person. <laughs> that has to be a six, seven foot. <laughs> yeah, so make sure it is, as you reach out, it's the groin level. Yeah, okay, so this diet, diet angle. Ah, block, no, nope. block, step behind me and then strike, oop, oh, 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 yeah, it's here, no good to be here, it's here, oh. <laughs> so remember, as we do the creep down, it is level with your own abdomen, okay? If you're high, it should still be like this. If you're low, still like this, okay, no good. No good. Here, therefore. Okay, so how far you can reach, depending on how f level you can achieve. Okay, so as far as you can without raising your hand, still maintaining that level. That would be do. That would be okay. Okay. This one here because it's slightly awkward. One. Relax. Two. Now, very often, I can see some of us just like sort of a stepping too far back, or not stepping too, not trying to step too, not to, in a way, not dare to adjust your step. Okay, because don't forget, you want to squat down. This is the opportunity to move your step, in order to equip you, or get, provide you that facility, so that you can squat down. Okay, now if I have a line 
uh, let's say this is the line here, okay? My heels is on this side, this side of the line, okay? What we're trying to achieve here is this. Uh, this way, slightly wider, let's say, yeah, like this. What we try to do, we post the monkey, we want to actually have the width of this. The hills are nearly together. No good when we do the repulse the monkey. So every time when we finish repulse the monkey, it should be this. Okay, this is number one. Number two, crypts down. If this is the line, my front foot is on this side of the line. One, two. Now what I want to adjust is to adjust slightly behind this line so that my toes is more or less in line with the heel, with the front heel. And also, we can step out a little bit as well in order for us to actually be able to squat like this. Okay, good, if you only do this. But if you were like me, who wants to squat really low, then you could actually step back, step sideways too. But no need to bring the foot in and step out at this point, okay? So for example, if I was to do quite low, I would one, two, three, four. Okay. But if you can't do this, don't worry. You can still step back, step back rather than out. But make sure don't too, not too far back. No good. One. No good. Okay, no good. Uh, no good. It should be. More or less in the one line. Okay, so this is something you need to work on. What you could do is just get a masking tape, <laughs> put it on the floor in your house and just practice that movement in order to get one, uh, one side, the, end, the heel in the front on one side and the toes on the other of the masking tape. Okay, 